Hello and welcome to Parkesson. My name is Jake and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 roller coasters in the UK. Did you know that there's 211 roller coasters in the UK? No? Fair enough. This country has a fantastic range of rides from really fantastic roller coasters to some not so fantastic roller coasters. But today we're going to be listing the top 10 roller coasters in the country. Now, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we've got some great videos coming up over the next few days and a few weeks. In fact, it's going to be daily uploads, so subscribe so you don't miss out. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have Rage at Adventure Island. Now, this is a Gerslauer Eurofighter, uh, opened in 2007 and contains three inversions, including one vertical loop, a cutback and a heartline roll. Rage reaches a top speed of about 43 miles per hour and also offers some great views of the seaside. Taking the number 9 spot is the Odyssey at Fantasy Island. Now the Odyssey is the tallest Vekoma SLC anywhere in the world. Um, it stands at 167 feet or 51 meters tall. This coaster cost a whopping £28 million and it is in fact the most expensive roller coaster in the UK ever. With 5 inversions and a top speed of 63 miles per hour, this coaster is insane. At number 8 is Saw the Ride at Thought Park, another Gerstlauer Eurofighter. Theme to the hit horror movie of the same name, Saw boasts the title of the world's first horror themed roller coaster. With a beyond vertical drop, 3 inversions and a top speed of 55 miles per hour over 2400 feet of track, this is certainly a coaster not to be missed. At number 7 we have Wicker Man at Alton Towers which is a GCI wooden coaster. Um, it's the most recent wooden coaster to open in the UK. It opened in 2018 and was the first roller coaster in the world to combine wood with fire. Despite its family rating, the coaster reached the top speed of 44 miles per hour as it meanders its way around and between an enormous central theming piece known by enthusiasts as Big Bob. Often regarded as the best themed coaster experience in the UK, this is definitely worthwhile. Number 6 we have Stealth at Thought Park. Stealth opened in 2006 and is currently the fastest roller coaster in the UK and the second tallest for now at least until Hyperia opens. Stealth reaches a top speed of 80 miles per hour and launches riders up a 205 foot tall top hat before rolling back into the station. The ride itself lasts less than a minute but pulls 4.7 G's making it one of the most intense roller coasters in the UK. At number 5 now we have Megaphobia at Oakwood theme park in Wales. This is a wooden coaster built in 1996 by Custom Coasters International. This coaster reaches a top speed of 48 miles per hour as it completes its newly retracted layout and it was the first major retraction to be installed at the theme park and it really helped put Oakwood on the map. At number 4 now, technically I'm, I'm taking it because it will be open this year, soon to be known as Nemesis Reborn following its retract project. Nemesis opened in 1994 and was designed by coaster legend John Wardley. At a cost of £10 million, the coaster boasts four inversions during its 2,400 feet of track, reaching a top speed of 50 miles per hour. This ride is not to be underestimated, as its fun and intense layout is like anything else in the UK. Reaching the top three now, at number three we have The Swarm at Thought Park, a B&M wing coaster. The Swarm is the second wing coaster in the world and was designed by Swiss manufacturer B&M. It opened in 2012 at a cost of £18 million, with its four inversions across 2,543 feet of track. Specifically, it reaches a top speed of 59 miles per hour as it weaves throughout its theming pieces. The Swarm is the perfect mix between intensity and an experience. So, uh, it's exceptionally well themed, it has its own island, the station's really well themed. It's just a fantastic overall experience, in my opinion. Not quite as fantastic of an experience though as number two, which is the Smiler at Alton Towers. Opening as the world's first Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster in 2013, the Smiler is the only roller coaster in the world with 14 inversions. Costing more than £18 million, this coaster has a track length of 3,800 feet, but its actual footprint is not that big, making it all the more impressive that they managed to pack all those inversions in there. It's mesmerizing to watch and there is no denying this is one of the best roller coasters in the country. However, it just falls short in my opinion of number one, which is Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Icon is a Mack Rides multi-launch coaster and it was the UK's first and only double launch coaster. Unless you count Mandrill Mayhem, which I don't. It opened in 2018 with a height of 88 feet and a top speed of 52 miles per hour 
across its 3,750 feet of track. This is definitely the best coaster in the UK, in my opinion. I love the way it interacts with the other coasters at the park. Get some good forces on there, some fantastic objector airtime. It's just a fantastic ride from start to finish, in my opinion. And there we are. There are the top 10 roller coasters in the UK, in my opinion. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm sure quite a few people will have something to say about my list, but you're wrong. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. We have got some amazing videos coming up over the next couple of days and weeks, so it's definitely worth subscribing now so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.